Haley, Haley, how's your Sunday? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Green slate gaming, how's it going? Oh man, we've been pre gaming. Forgive me. We have been pre gaming. What's going on? Yeah, we pre gaming. We're doing it. How's everybody doing? Yeah, we doing it big. We on uh, House Margie Sugar. Sugar, sugar, sugar. That's been good, but we've been doing that seahorse too all day, which is really good too. Yeah, so we're going to rip a torture real quick while we're sharing out. And then if y'all listening, hit that share button. Tell the people. The people. Let the message know. <laughs> Spread the word. <laughs> no, none, no edibles for you today, Bake Baker. Next slide, please. You, <laughs> I figured you were ripped last night. You seemed it. <laughs> I could I couldn't do that much. That was that's all you homes. What was it? You said 200? 200 milligrams? That's crazy. That's so fucking crazy. Gotta be careful. Mm -hmm. Don't get yourself sick. So I'm gonna give you guys some visions. Yeah, we got some cool visions, right? Yeah. Or are you not starting off with the cool visions? No, I'm not going to start off with the cool visions. I mean, they're visions, cool but... visions. They're just not my cool visions. We got some cool visions. <laughs> yeah, what are we doing? Torture devices tonight, y'all. Medieval and, like, ancient. Oh, my God, Kyle. Devices. Oh, man, poor, poor wifey. Poor, poor wifey. Slip a J. Slip a J. Sorry, I'm like, like stretching and everything. I like, I don't know what's with this. This stuff is really, really good. I gotta try and figure out a way to stay focused. <laughs> passed out yeah you gotta be careful though get green out on edibles one time when i was first getting into edibles and i was learning how to cook i made this tea oh god and, and brooker's greened out yo it was bad it was, it, like and, and i am by all means not like a lightweight i mean i can hang and that shit when i talk like i was like frozen and then I kept on telling Bruce, I'm like, I, I feel sick. He's like, no, 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 you're fine, you're fine. You need to just lay down. I was like, no, homie, I feel really sick. You need to help me to the bathroom. And he's like, no, 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 you're cool. I'm like, no. <laughs> so I sit up and I mean, it was all over the place. Like I, don't, I had nuts in that shit and I hadn't had nuts in like weeks. Like, I don't know, it was throw up everywhere it was the worst like the absolute worst experience i've ever had like to this day i can't even make regular tea so then once i figured out what i was doing i did the math on that cup of tea i made her and it turns out the amount i used in the way i decarbed and stuff <laughs> it was about a 2000 milligram cup of tea and i had one too about 2000 and i was fucked up but she greened out yo Dude, I was in the shower, <laughs> sitting on the floor, crying, <laughs> still in my clothes. <laughs> it was like, it was not pretty at all. Yes, people that normally come to my house, like there's this other guy, I greened him out twice. Oh fuck, I forgot about and him. And when I greened him out, yo, it was the same thing, just crazy amount of puke. 
This man's sitting in my shower with his clothes on crying. Poor guy. His wife's like, what the fuck? I felt so bad for him. My whole living room was full of puke. No, he did good getting it in the garbage can. Eventually. <laughs> like the 15th round. Locked that, himself in a hot ass car. Yeah, dude. Like free, middle of summer. Middle of 100 degree fucking southern heat. <laughs> like, what are you doing, dude? I don't know. And mind you, this dude's like seven foot two. Yeah. This dude's like seven foot two. His wife is like only a little bit taller than me, and I'm only five three. So it was it's pretty funny trying to get this guy moving around the house. Yeah, we ended up like pretty much carrying him out, dumping him in his truck so his wife had to take him <laughs> home. That dude was fucked up for like a day. But then uh he came back a couple months later. Yeah. And yeah, then he was baker. like, it was, it was crazy. He was like, I'll smoke again and shit. And he was real light about it, but man, he greened out again. It wasn't as bad the second time, but I don't know. Kyle, Kyle hung out with me. Kyle didn't green out, yo. Nope. Kyle and Tara can hang any day. Yep. Kyle and Tara. And Cindy. And Cindy, yeah. They held their own. Straight profession now. Freaking rock stars. Yeah, baby. She said rock stars. But yeah, when people hang with me, they tend to green out. I have another buddy of mine. I used to get him like messed up and he used to work like a uh, two jobs and he used to stop by in between the two jobs. And most of the time he'd stop by for like maybe 15 minutes to a half an hour. And uh, normally he wouldn't make it to his second job or he'd be like really late, get like five minutes down the road and be like sleeping it off in the parking lot. Sorry, y'all. Damn, got me. <laughs> yeah, that's why I like the emote that you're using there, Sleepy J. That's why I got that one. I feel like that's me and Bruce some days. We're just like two nugs in a freaking bowl. Two nugs in a bowl. <laughs> two nugs in a bowl. <laughs> wow, that's not the place to be. <laughs> Definitely not the place to be. But yeah, hopefully everybody's having a good Sunday. She's about done with the stab. <coughs> the stab's about done with me. We all got our share outs in. Uh, if y'all can share out, that'd be like greatly appreciated. Let's see what else I got. I ain't got much. Show's gonna be fired up. Broker's got like. Uh, <laughs> you ain't got much about what? <coughs> everything I did today. It was raining. It I played farm raining. sim all day. Tara, what's good? Tara needs, <laughs> Tara needs to get her butt in that chat, involve herself. Tara's a good. Right? She's one of the homies, but we got we got to make her do some stuff. Oh. We got to get her more active. Um. We gotta get Tara active. That's what we're gonna do. <laughs> so we're gonna change the topic of the podcast to make Tara active. Make Tara active. In the chat. Hey, boo. Yes. Did you do me a solid? Yes. I don't know what I did with my vape. I think it might be in the room, <coughs> the bedroom. <coughs> <coughs> I have been like so forgetful lately. Like I've legit like said to Bruce, "Oh, I'm gonna go, you know, go get a drink or whatever." Get into the kitchen, get distracted by the kids, come back, sit down. Completely forget my drink. Go back out there and then yell to Bruce, what was I getting? I forget all that shit. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, I know Tara. I like messing with her. That's why I said that. I love Tara. Tara's one of the homies. Next month, Tara's going to get her touch up done. Exciting yeah, yeah. things. Yes. <coughs> so, like, that's another thing, like, you know, like, all these people, like, even the people on, like, my DJ show, like, I just love them, yo. I, like, meet them in real life and shit. Yeah. I'm like, what's up? It's the internet, yo. Let's meet strangers. So, tonight, for the podcast, <coughs> you're going to do medieval torture devices, and I still, like, I'm spelling it, like, four different ways, and I don't think I spelled it right any which way. 
Just so you know. <laughs> <laughs> you spelled it wrong, brokers. <laughs> Just no, but- saying, I don't know if any of it is spelled right in any which way or form. We're all stoners, though, so it really don't. Nobody would have noticed. No, like my spell check wasn't picking it up, but then I would look it up somewhere else and it was spelled differently. So, I mean, I was obviously being like responsible about it and using spell check, but I'm just saying. So, I'm gonna lay out another dab <laughs> for me before I set up the electronic stuff, but I am gonna roll some visions while you get started from uh, that I found before you get to yours. Right? Say what? Yeah. Okay. I'll let you know. <coughs> I gotta stop this coughing. So hopefully everyone's having a good night. Hopefully everyone's fucking smoked out. We've been going crazy all day. It's been wild. You're lovable, Kyle. You're lovable. I hope I read that right. Imagine I didn't. It was like something else. Like you're horrible people. No, he wrote, you're lovable people. (laughs) (laughs) (coughs) Okay. So yeah, medieval torture. You know. I'm trying to clear out this like. Handcuffs. Stretching motherfuckers. All shit like you see here. They were crazy back in the day. The barrel. Like, it's hard to really imagine, though, if you think about it. Like, we really go, oh, my gosh, it's so violent and everything today. And, you know, we got to protect kids from this, that, and the other thing. And then, but at the same like, time. Back in the medieval times, they're, like, lining up to get front row seats and, like, putting their kids on each other's shoulders to see people get beheaded. But at the same time, it was a punishment for most. <coughs> and then besides it being a punishment, it learned us a lot. Learned us a lot? Yeah, it learned us, like, medical and how the body works and... What pain did that we really come take. from torture though, or is lo- that more like from, a lot of it did? Uh, people like it's how uh, we learned, like that device right there. That's the Judas chair. Yeah, so we're actually most, gonna go over that one. Most people didn't die from that; they desi- died from them on not washing it. <coughs> so someone else's dirty butthole. Pretty much, but all the blood and stuff, and all the infection and stuff, yeah. and they died from that, and that's how they learned about a lot of infections and bloodborne pathogens and. Because the idea of torturing you was to torture you, not kill you right away. Because killing you, and when you died, was kind of a relief. Mm-hmm. They wanted to keep you alive. Yeah. They wanted to do this shit for weeks. You think it was like, <laughs> kind of like, well, there's nothing else on TV type of thing. Like, they didn't there's have nothing else. No, I know, <laughs> but like, what I'm saying is like, there was nothing else to do. So they were like, all right, this is cool. Let's go down to the town center and set some and bitch. Just on, like, you know, set some it. bitch on a yeah. spike. Like this year, like they're all in the town center, like just like, oh, cut off our heads. For real though, like I, I have a feeling it was kind of like that. Like a circus, like come, come like on, they were come selling, on. Like you know, tonight's to be heading. Yeah, they like we're selling popcorn and stuff. It's possible. They were vicious back then. Though. They really were. All right, you ready? I'm ready. I was born ready. Born ready. Yeah. <coughs> you had a brazen bull. I'm, I'm reading my chat. These are my people, you know? All right. So from the heretic's fork to being eaten alive by insects, these grisly old torture methods prove that humans have always been brutal. Getting a confession is never easy, and putting someone to death leaves room for lots of creativity. Tonight, join DJ Bruce and me on Pot of Coffee Podcast as we jump into some torture methods and executions of the ancient and medieval worlds. I felt like that was like a million things to say. And it really wasn't, but I it was it was a lot. <laughs> it's cool. We just take our time. The brazen bull was cool too, because when it reached a certain temperature, it whistled. You know, like here's the thing, and this is and I said this to you when I was writing the show. Like you know more about this stuff than I do. Like I like legitly had to look up a lot of this stuff. Like you were like, hey, that's this. You had a lot of time (laughs) with books about this stuff and like stuff like this that we're watching now. I don't know. It always interested me. Not that I'm like (laughs) interested in like (laughs) torturing people. Well, you never know if someone owe you like 20 bucks or something or like (coughs) what? Someone owe you money. You torture somebody for 20 bucks. Hey, you got to keep your street cred. You can't get knocked down a peg. (laughs) 20 bucks. If you're like, well, let's just, you know. 
ram this up your ass and see how that feels. I will smack the mama out you for twenty dollars. <laughs> <laughs> like for real. Backhand, front hand, let's do this. Double whammy. Pa pow. Double whammy. Double whammy. That's twenty that's ten bucks a slap. Well, they were designed to humiliate and dehumanize victims in their final moments. Although many of these methods have become known as medieval torture devices, likely due to associations with the Spanish Inquisition, which is I found interesting. Um, their origins reach back to antiquity. No matter the era, these horrific devices were used to maim and kill untold amounts of victims. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> it's like the butthole pyramid. <coughs> That's crazy, though. Like, wait, what is there? What? Look at, wow, ouch. They were wild back then. Ouch. Ouch. Why? Keep your ass in line. That's why I don't fuck around. <coughs> they were straight on some fuck around and find out back in the day. They would sit your ass on that triangle and hang weights from you. They were nuts. I mean. And then disembowel you. Look at that one. As you're sitting on the oh thing, they're pulling God. out your intestines and rolling them on a wheel. I seriously don't don't like. Uh, uh, don't they have kicked a can? Kicked a can. It wasn't an entertainment thing. It was because you fucked around. You stole something. You touched somebody. You did stuff you weren't supposed to do. And see, they would move that ring down every day. That's the Judas chair. So maybe we'll just start going over the Judas chair. No, go in your order. These are just visions. <laughs> Oh, that one's the Spanish donkey. Yeehaw. I knew that one. I knew that one. See, okay, so I guess, I mean, I do have, like, pictures and stuff, too, to go well, along with these that I sent you. Um, this is just to give everyone a taste of what we're talking about. I mean, yeah, it's, this is it, folks. This I, is humanity at one of its many. Finest points. Worst points. <laughs> we or have finest. many. Like I said, there's, I think there's a lot of learning involved, though, through the generations and through doing this sicko stuff. Yeah, Braveheart. Freedom! I think of all the stuff we learned. If we didn't have this torture stuff, we would have never learned about all these crazy... About crazy torture stuff? No. Infectious diseases, bloodborne pathogens. But is that what we... Like, we didn't really... I don't know if we necessarily learned it from that. We just know that that's what happened. Yeah, I know, but back in the day, they didn't. This is how they learn. So they're saying, how can we keep fucking Ray fucking alive an extra week to beat his ass? Just to beat his ass. Just to beat his ass. And then they said, oh, man, maybe we should put a condom on the Judas chair. What? Well, this way they don't get, like, Judas chair herpes. Like splinters? No, not splinters. The fucking infections. I don't know, but disemboweling and all that stuff how do they know like okay we can pull your whole insides out except for these parts you know they were experimenting too they were sick well, your experiments your intestines are pretty long yeah I know but how many people did they kill until they figured out that they could pull your intestines and not kill you how come people didn't pass out from like crazy amount of shock pain like why don't you hear instances of that happen? Instead, you had a Braveheart scene that probably would have, like, if you think about it, if that was real life, that probably lasted, like, a good couple of hours. How did he stay alive that, like, well, like, not alive, but, like, conscious that whole time? I would have passed out. Legit. Smelling salt. Did they have that then? Yeah. They kept you awake. Cocaine. Plus, even if you pass out for a second, they're still beating your ass while you're passed out, and then you wake up because they're beating your ass. <laughs> you wake up because they're beating your ass? Yeah. That's how that works? That is how that works. <coughs> I don't know. But uh, let's go to our first one. You ready? Like they knew what they were doing. They would bring you to the point where you're about to pass out it's and not. give you that three-second break and then beat your ass again. Just, like, not give up. Like, just, like, yeah, blooded blood out. <laughs> no <laughs> That means they killed you They killed you in and they killed you out Yeah They killed you in and killed you out That's exactly what I said <laughs> Oh brokers That's the most ruthless gang 
no, for real though. But like, that's just crazy. Like, how sick does your mind have to be to even begin to think of some of these things? Is your mind sick or are you just genius? Really? I, I don't think so. Like that one? That's no. 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 But if it's your job, like back then, that was probably like that a good job. That was people's job. Well, that's what I'm saying. So it's like, ooh, I made executioner because I invented this fucking wheel breaker. So. Is that something you think you should aspire to be? Or back- is that was that job given to like the shitheads? Or is it like a volunteer position? It was probably a high position. So, like a higher position, like, all right, I can see that. So you worked for that, and you invented your device, and then it's like, <laughs> oh, my... Because I remember a story with the brazen bull. The king, whatever king it was, or some shit, and I don't know exactly, so, don't, like, if you could, you want to quote me, go ahead, I don't care. You don't want to quote me, don't... Can we I don't quote care. you on this? Like, you want to fact check this shit? Go for it. You, you don't want to? Don't. I don't care. Either way. Like, I'm probably half wrong, but I don't give a fuck. But. Spit it. So the king wanted a torture device made. And all these different people were, like, presenting him a different torture device. And the one guy brought him the bull. And then he showed him how the bull worked. But when he wanted to show him how the bull worked, he climbed inside of it. And the king roasted his ass. And the king was like, look at my new invention. That's pretty much what happened, yeah. I but did this all by myself. Pretty much, if you came with one of these devices, and it was good enough, and you know you tried it out, and the king liked it, you got the job. Top Cat in the building. Happy Sunday, Top Cat. Hopefully you're feeling better, my man. I hope you are. We are sending you so many healing vibes and chicken soup for the soul. Energy vibes your way. Yeah, and thanks for stopping through the Discord earlier. Yeah, we gotta. I gotta call you one day on the regular phone and show you how to work it or whatnot. We'll figure it out. But yeah, we gotta get that figured out. We would just be chilling and smoking in there, doing nothing, killing time, really. And today we are going over medieval torture devices. So you're, but we're we're about to dive deep. It's the la- last horror of the month, yo, because Halloween's tomorrow. Then we're gonna talk about turkeys next month. So I sent you. Um, you want the pictures? Some pictures. Uh, the first one we're going to do, and I labeled them so that you would find it easier, because I was thinking. Uh, the Neil hauling, or keel hauling. I-, I think it's a keel hauling. You would like the keel hauling. And I bet you Top Cat might have heard of it. I scrolled the wrong way. Scroll. Brookers has a whole presentation. She put a lot of work into this one, guys. All right, this is the keel hauling. Yep. And you guys can see inside my Discord. It's cool. It's cute. It's cool. So, yeah, Top Cat probably knows about this since it's like piratey. <clears throat> see if we can blow this up. No, we can't. So, I believe it's called keel hauling. And its origin is from ancient Greece. Um, so this punishment was kind of reserved for sailors. The offending seaman would be tied to a rope. She loop- says seaman, no. <laughs> Sailor. Oh my gosh. And just dragged by the side of the boat. Well, listen, he'd be tied to a rope, looped underneath the vessel, and then thrown overboard into the sea where he would be dragged underneath one side of the ship to the other side. Death could occur from drowning or as a result of repeatedly hitting the bottom of the boat, which was often covered in razor-sharp barnacles. 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 That's crazy. (laughs) Sleepy Jay. Yes, I said semen. My goodness. That is what they are called. (laughs) Top cat. This is why I love you guys, yo. We're all like 12. It's just great. So yeah, You said it. I didn't. Keel hauling. Keel hauling. That That's would suck. That's fucked up, right? Because not only do you, like, you're drowning, and then you're, like, bouncing off the side of the boat, and then you're going to get heavy because, yeah, that would suck. I'd rather walk the plank and deal with the sharks because you could have a chance of riding At least the then you have some sort of a chance, right? It's not even a chance thing. It's just the thing less sucking. Like, I'd rather just get eaten whole by a shark and just be done. Then it'd be like, 
dragged for like 30 nautical miles fucking bashing my head off the side of a ship with like piranhas eating my asshole. That would just suck. It really would. Like, I was just picturing, like, I think I saw a cartoon of somebody that that happened to, but they were like, like every wave, like they were just like, come up. It's kind of funny in the cartoon, but I guess not in real life. I don't know, but I would like to blow up the pictures. What is that, though? That's your next picture. Is it? Oh, it is my next picture. <laughs> it is a... What if you, like, zoomed in with your mouse? I'm trying to. Isn't there, like, a click zoom thing? Yeah, it's not doing nothing. I did it last week. Can you, like, enlarge it? No. I can't enlarge it. So anyway, talk about it. Well, it's called a live burial. The picture is um, they're they're um, putting up like uh, like bricks and stuff, and they're bricking somebody behind a wall. Stand up tomb. Mm-hmm. You stand up in a little hole in a wall, and then it brick in, brick you in. Yep. Yeah. So I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. I think you die of. Uh, not breathing. Well, What's you do. Eventually, you suffocate. And what happens is there's even pictures of, um, like, they, they would close these people up. And, like, they would actually have, like, a bed and chairs and desks and stuff. And it doesn't say, like, it usually was reserved for more um, upper class people as, a, as their death punishment. So, it was kind of fucked. We're on Ling Chi. I know. I'm trying to f- just figure out how to zoom. Oh. None of these pictures are working, my love. None of them? They're all going to be super small like this. Oh, no. So I'm just going to play stuff, I guess. All right. I had a lot of I mean, pictures. some of them go. We'll just roll them anyway. <laughs> we got to figure out some computer <clears throat> stuff, but we're on Ling Chi. I don't know how to blow up pictures. If somebody knows the buttons to blow up pictures... Like holler at me, but I'm doing the mouse thing, and normally I like click the wheel and roll it in, and the shit blows up. The shit ain't doing nothing. Yeah, at least I'm gonna need a lot of bops and buckets. <laughs> We're still on semen in the chat. Still on semen in the chat. We're starting a whole navy. But the Ling Chi, and I'm sorry you cannot see this, but you might not want to because some of the pictures I saw, like this was the cleanest one of this, to be honest with you, because <laughs> apparently it not, you know, in like black and white picture past. Do you think when you're done mopping all that, would the floor be sticky or shiny? Oh my gosh, can I please? Alright, Ling Chi. <laughs> but the other pictures, like, they were black and white, so they weren't in the too far distant past. Um, it was known as Death by a Thousand Cuts. Um, it dates back to the 10th century, and it was used for punishment offenses like high treason or like crazy murderers such as like the killing of one's parents or like a mass murder so this painful method uh involved like i mean they they would slice away at the victim's body like in places where they wouldn't die right away just so that they can get like more cuts into the person um the cuts were thought to increase in intensity over time building from small incisions all the way up to complete, like, limb amputation. Kind of like the mob, yo. They cut off, like, tips of your fingers, go knuckle at a time in. So what they do is, in, like, in the picture, the person's tied up. Like, everything is tied. Like So they're, like, completely tied around this post. And that's when they just do, yeah, just, like, they're slicing. like, like And it's not, like paper cut slices i mean like you there's like cut through the meat but not the arteries and stuff. right right that's, away that's what i'm saying for them to know where to cut and what to stuff how much education is that right you have to know the body pretty much medically which is hard yeah so i mean that's what i'm saying there's a lot of learning 
I mean, I, I'm kind of looking at torture in a positive way <laughs> for this episode. Well, I, th- I think it did good for... Uh, we wouldn't have what we have now if it wasn't for what they did back then. <laughs> Thank you, torturers. <laughs> <laughs> Only here. Only fucking here, y'all. Semen are positive with all that semen. My goodness, Top Cat. Um <laughs> Yeah, I mean, let's get all the semen jokes out. <laughs> Random semen time. <laughs> Right, nut jokes. <laughs> Me and Burger's about to fall out of our chairs, yo. Uh-oh. There's semen everywhere. Bruce is doing a dab. That's why we've like slowed down kind of right now. <laughs> I'm waiting for him to be able to go back to the mic. That's possible. That is quite possible. (coughs) 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 Was big, round, long, and filled with semen. What's big, round, long, and filled with semen? What? A submarine. Uh, I was going to give a spoiler real quick. (laughs) All right. You don't have to wait on me. Well, I kind of do. You're kind of part of the show, so I kind of got to wait on you. (laughs) And you kind of got to show the next picture. (laughs) So I kind of can't move on. (laughs) I'm going to do my sea horse, not my sea men. I'm going to do my sea horse soon. Are you kidding? Mm -mm. How did that happen? We cracked one of the new marbles. That we legit just got. I don't even know how that happens. Like, ridiculous. Anywho. I've got nine people on listening to me wait on you. <laughs> nine people listen to me rip dabs. <laughs> <coughs> 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 I think Bruce is done. <laughs> Did it get you, babe? That one got me, yo. So, next picture's up. Some of the pictures are bigger than the others. I'm real sorry for uh, the pictures not being as big as I want them to be. Maybe I could zoom in in the OBS for you guys. Because, like, I care. You I do care. care, guys. We care. Like, we want you to see all the crazy torture. Like, I give such a <laughs> fuck, it's not even funny. You know what I mean? So let me see what, let me, oh, oh, yeah, look at Bruce. Look at Bruce do this shit for you. Getting shit done. Bruce getting shit done. I mean, it's it's because I care. That's the only reason. There's no, I mean. So, um, this yeah, is called look at the that. There we go, guys. Pona Cully, and it's, <coughs> it originates in ancient Rome. <clears throat> it translates to plenty of the sack. Um, it, 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 this is just like a weird one. Um, so the victim, typically someone found guilty of what? Man, found guilty of what? What are you doing? Nothing. What are you pointing at? Keep reading. Okay. 
Um, I lost where I was. Why well, you pointed at me like I know things? Lord of Omeo, wake him in. Welcome in. You got new chatter, Brookers. Okay, but you could say it too while I'm reading. I don't want to cut you off. <laughs> Y'all is important. I'm doing video Welcome work. Welcome in. <laughs> they said they secret listening, and they said, "Oh my gosh." Yeah, <laughs> we funny. In. Welcome in. We just joking around, having a Sunday. We really are. Uh, we we have fun. <laughs> um. So, where was I? Some so the sucks. person was sewn up in a leather sack with an assortment of live animals. So a big, a big uh, famous combination would be a dog, a snake, and a monkey, and a chicken. <laughs> all of those combined. <laughs> like, all of those combined in bag, and they take you, they put you in it, they close it all up, and then they toss you and all of those animals over into water. The victim would either drown or die from injuries resulting in the close proximity to the animals. Everybody panicking. <laughs> like, what? Poor animals, though. I know. Like. I know. Yeah, poor animals. Like, they're just such gentle Creatures. souls, you know? But I guess, again, you know, if medieval people were like, hey, let's just shove things up people's orifices. Orifice. Let's get our orifice We might as well on, just, yo. you know, throw animals overboard, too, and see what happens. Let's, hey. all, let's all just straight up get our orifices on. Let's get our orifices on. Let's do orifice <laughs> things. Look at this shit. Yeah, elephant trampling. I'm so, on the video. Look. I know. Blowing uh, it up. Doing my work. Ancient South Asia is where this originated from. Could you imagine? Execution by elephant was common in South and Southeast Asia. It dates all the way back to the ancient times. It involved crushing the unfortunate victim by an elephant specifically trained for that purpose. How do you think that they train them? Like stomp on watermelons? <laughs> like how do you... <laughs> how do you train some, an elephant? All right, you ready, Brooks? specifically stomp on people? One. Top Cat said he's going to have a monkey untie him and he's going to get out and a friggin' ninja monkey assault shit. Right? I would real. too. So, back to the elephants. Elephants are like super smart and if you've ever been to the circus, they're like really, eat, like, they're trainable. So like you could have them like set so they like always stand on a basket or something and then just put the people's head on the basket and the elephant's just going to step there. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like there's no doubt in my mind. Like I know elephants are like super smart, but like my genuine question is like, how do you go about it? Train your elephant step on a basket. Yeah, I guess. Just word. like, like on like command, like a word command maybe. Or just lay to people in the street and just like take your elephant for a walk. <laughs> like this is normal. This is normal. It's like the really road, normal. The road it's of, a parade. The road of people. Step on. Step on the semen and it would squirt, probably. Oh, she's gonna squirt when they step on it. It's a squirter. Yeah, if you step in the right spot, it's gonna squirt. It's gonna squirt. <laughs> you just gotta get it just right. And still squirt. But um so some victims were like if they were still alive afterwards. They were mercifully released and allowed to repent after only minor injuries, while others entered brutal torture until the elephant delivered the fatal blow by stepping on their head. So some they were like, and eh, it's enough. Some they were like, keep getting them. Yeah, pretty much, I suppose. Maybe it like, had to do with like the crime. Yeah, maybe it had to do with crime, so it's like you have to withstand like 50 elephant stomps. <laughs> And it's like, oh, you did last, so you only get five elephant stops. So you only come out with, like, a mush head. Is that, like... Like, mashed potato head. Do you think he was, like, jumped in then? So, like, he's, like, part of, like, the the crew? So since since he got his ass whipped and survived, he's an elephant now? Like, yeah, like... <laughs> he's in the elephants. You're, you're in the tusk crew. <laughs> it's like, I'm in the elephants. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all are crazy. Brokers. Well, I mean, that's like, like, think you survive something like that. Like, you deserve a medal or something, or at least a freaking you gang get, initiation. You get to go join a gang called the Elephants. The Elephants. <laughs> <laughs> the tusks. Go 
Y'all gonna go out and steal peanuts? <laughs> I'm sorry, folks. Like, I did Sunday like a Sunday should be done. We like to pregame. Double squirt. The rack. There's two pictures. This is the drawn picture version. And then there is another picture of the actual equipment that is sitting in a torture museum. All right, let's go look at the equipment. <clears throat> I'll give them a couple seconds so they can see this. So the victim's ankles would be strapped to one end of the device and the wrists to the other. Then a mechanism was then cranked and the interrogation took place. Spiky too. Mm -hmm. And it would just continue to stretch the limbs. Bones and ligaments made startling sounds as the victim's joints were dislocated until he confessed or was torn apart. Brokers. Yes. We should look on Amazon and see if they got one of these. Like, do you know what that would feel like on your, like the lumbar support on we that have, looks amazing. <laughs> we have that, um, what is it called? We have that table thing. Yeah, but that's upside down. This is laying down. I mean, this looks nice, like a nice stretch in the morning. And then you got the <laughs> spikes in your back. Like somebody like just turn the crank <sighs> once or twice. Yeah, just give me like one <laughs> or two cranks. And then like I'll go to work. Like I bet you I could work all day after one of them. <laughs> so I think these are available on Amazon, folks. Well, it is easily one of the most famous medieval torture devices. It was also used to stretch heretics by pulling on their ankles and wrists, in theory, until they rent in half. Till they rent in half while torture is made a wish. So, like a wishbone. Well, you obviously split. <laughs> um. Gotta go. Yeah. Nah, that was. Uh, I bet you it feel good at first. Like the first couple of clicks, you're like, yeah, yeah, you guys ain't hurting shit. This is nice. And then like you're like, ooh, that's a bit much. Uh oh, stop, please stop. <laughs> no more. <laughs> that's good. Oh, and then you like shoulders and shit popping out. They used to do that in like cowboys too. You know what they used to do? They used to kind of do the same thing like this, and they used to tie a horse to like each one of, of your limbs. Yeah, yeah. four horses. And then at the same time, the cowboys would fucking go and it split your, rip all your limbs off. People would survive that too. How do you survive getting all of your limbs ripped off? Well, because your limbs got ripped off, so it's just your head and your torso. Like use and your chin to walk around? No, you're not walking around. You're laying there for a couple, Help. couple minutes bleeding out. Because they didn't have the medical back then, but like you only survived for like five minutes. <laughs> but imagine like the agony. That would be crazy. This next one, though, I can't get over this one. Hold on. I just can't. I really can't. This one's fucked. Oh, it's the booty hole chair. It's the booty hole chair. This one's called Judas's Cradle. I, I kept on calling it a chair. It's Judas's Cradle. Like... It was, and this was like widely used during the Middle Ages in order to obtain confessions. And it was extremely feared all throughout Europe. No shit. A victim was. I'm, I'm scared looking at that picture. Extremely feared, yeah. <laughs> a victim was strapped into restraints and lowered upon a chair with a pyramid shaped seat with each insertion. The point of the chair slowly tore at the anus or the vagina, often inducing septic shock or death by impalement. The fascination of ancient torturers with other people's nether regions is ridiculous. I actually made sure I wrote that because this is ridiculous. Uh, it was also known as Judas's chair. Oh, that's where I got it from because it was also known as that. Um, so it's just so grotesque like I can't even <coughs> I I honestly like what was why it's the ultimate butthole stretcher my boy heavy tea is in the building <gasps> heavy tea how are you hope you're having a good Sunday I don't know he says he's fucked hopefully you're not fucked hopefully you're not fucked this poor guy's fucked I mean yeah hopefully you're doing good you heavy go. tea hey ho like, I don't know. If I was in that situation, I would wiggle. So, it, like, would you like happen faster? Do you think you could, like, like clench your butt cheeks together and, like, stop it? No, because they put weights on you. 
Do they? Yeah, they put weights on your feet, and there's a belt that they used to put around you, and they used to hang weights. So like you would just sound go. like you've been to a uh, a showing of this before. Yeah, I used to hang out at a a Judas <laughs> a Judas chair club back in the day. <laughs> It, it was a, just a, it was a, di- a lot about it. It was a different type of bar. <laughs> <laughs> oh crazy, man, though. what is going on, good people? Heavy teas in the right? house, yo. No. I don't think he's been here before, has he? I don't know. I uh, think so. Sleepy J, exactly. Are these really torture devices or just future sex equipment? I mean, for like, I don't know if I would want that one necessarily. Well, I don't know about future. I think it would be past sex equipment. Could be. Well, they did it already. That could be. <laughs> yeah. One time, still new. Gotcha. The next one's your favorite one. So you might want to talk about this one. Uh uh-uh. uh. Because, yeah. Ooh. Well, they said ahead. that this is the closest thing to hell on earth. It was cast in bronze to look exactly like a bull. The structure was complete with a door on the bull's abdomen through which a victim was forced. Once inside, the door was locked and the statue was heated like a hot pot on the stove until the person cooked to death. Yeah, and once all their blood boiled and steamed out, the horns and the nose would shoot the steam out and it would like whistle. And that's how they knew you were done. Done cooking? I mean, is is that kind of like like a cooked pig? Pretty much, it's like a, a pressure cooker. It's kind of I mean, how it works. Fuck! What do you, these people were fucked, like really fucked. Like no, like it was just like let's just boil these fuckers. Like even even when you watch like history stuff about you know when they would fight each other and like just pour hot tar, like. What? You can't get that. You can't shake that off. Yeah, but that was like a war thing. You know what I mean? But like this, this came about because, like I said, they were inventions. So it's like you were going in front of the king, bringing your brazen bull or your rack of death or whatever you're bringing, your Judas chair or your fucking butthole poker or whatever you want to call your stuff. Your butthole poker. And, uh,. You bring it and present it to the king. Like the story behind the brazen bull, the guy that invented, um, he tried and tried and tried. He ended up getting cooked in his own thing himself because he was so sure of it that the king was like, he, the king didn't believe him and the king put it in him, put him in it and then lit him himself. Ugh. And then the king. Bake Baker says, could you imagine the smell? The, you would hear him uh. in there screaming and bouncing yeah, and around and flopping around and oh. to like cook. And then once they, once like their blood boils out of them and the whole thing fills with steam, their uh, horns and uh, nose would just push out all the steam and it had like whistles made out of the metal. So it like, kind of like a teapot. It was badass. Dinner's ready. <laughs> wow, that's fucked. Now this one, this one kind of reminds me of something and I'm going to tell you what, the next one. It's called the Heretic's Fork. Okay, and it, it was invented um, <clears throat> in medieval Spain. And it was used to elicit confessions during the Spanish Inquisition. Well, uh, I know about this one. Yeah, it was engraved with uh, the Latin phrase "aburio," which meant I recant. It was bipronged on both ends. The simple device was wedged painfully Ugh. between the breastbone and the throat. But you know what this kind of reminds me of? I can't even look at that picture, y'all. I don't like when shit touched my neck. Like, my t-shirt tag, fuck with me. Uh, looking at this, nah, that ain't gonna happen. There's, um, I forget what army it is, but they have like pins in their collars so that they don't like put their heads and stuff down. And it kind of reminds me of that. Yeah. Yeah, fuck that. That's crazy. Um, the victim was unable to talk or fall asleep, and then delirium would usually lead to a confession. Or, well, I, I guess they could die from it, right? Sleep, or you gonna <clears throat> look? Look what's gonna happen if you put your head down. That's fucked. And it's already embedded, like your teeth started, so you ain't shaking out. You're like fuck that, yo! I can't even look at this. That's not a good <laughs> the next, one. Okay, well, the next one's you know not much more fun. 
That's what I'm talking about, yo. This is called the choke pair. And um, again, we go to, you know. You can order these on adamandeve.com. People's <laughs> obsession with orifices. Um, so what is the pair of anguish? Oh, this I'm sorry. This was actually first uh, mentioned in France. Just so, so we're thinking that it is a French origin. Um, it is simply a mechanical torture device that would be placed inside the orifice of a person and then gradually expanded. They mostly used it. See, everybody thinks they shoved it up your ass and did it. Or they shoved it in your hoo-ha and did it. They mostly did it for your... uh, They stuck it in your mouth. Actually. And broke your jaw with it. Actually. That was the kindest used for it. What? Was when they used it in the person's mouth and it wasn't done that often. Uh, that, I heard that was the most. No, the kindest use was in the person's mouth where it would ultimately shatter the skull, causing immediate death. Uh, more gruesome is when it was used on parts in the lower half of the body, which were rarely fatal, but very excruciating. But excruciating. It was reserved for women, homosexuals, and liars. Shaped like a ripe fruit, the choke pair was of intimate design. And once it was inserted, it had four sharp metal leaves and it was cranked open. The leaves would expand wider and wider, mutilating the victim. Yikes. Ouch. Yeah, I always heard <laughs> that uh, they would shove it down your throat and do it. And the booty lovers liked it too much. But yeah, oh, I don't know. Booker's fact check Bruce's ass, huh? Sorry. How about that shit? <laughs> it was like the literal next line. <laughs> well, I didn't know. I'm just saying what I heard. I never yeah. said I know what. The well, fuck we I'm see about. a lot of it in different things, you know. Um, that one's just what? Like I just uh... let's explore this part of your body and see what happens. I mean, they kind of have similar things at gynecologist's office, I guess. Yeah, but that ain't nothing compared to what the girls do on Pornhub nowadays. <laughs> I mean... The girls on Pornhub nowadays laugh at that thing, yo. But they're doing it to themselves. It's a little different. True. But they would still laugh at that thing. They'd be like, <laughs> Can I get two? <laughs> Whoa, I know about this one, too. But they're supposed to use buckets. They fucked it all up. What, the rat torture? Yeah. So, my way... There, well, there's numerous approaches, and the, the, that's what I have written down. The best way to do it is the way that uh, New Jersey and New York Italian folk uh, did it, which was they would use a bucket, a steel bucket, they would put the rat in it on your stomach, or like chest, and then they would heat up the outside of the bucket with blow torches, and then the rat would get scared of the heat and dig a hole through to get out of the bucket. Well, they try and get away from the heat no matter what they have to go through. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so there's like a whole bunch of approaches to rat torture. Uh, the most common was to start with a restrained victim and a rat was set atop of his body and covered by a container. Heat was then applied and the rat would desperately start clawing for a way out. And the only way was through the body. The rat would dig and dig, slowly, bur- slowly burrowing into the person until death. I've also seen uh, instances where it's happened, uh, where they put it on the person's head. Yes. They would put you in, like, bury you or put you in, like, a something and just your head would stick out. And they would mm-hmm. put the rat in and then put the bucket over your head. Yep. Yep. But that most of the time they didn't use the blow torches and stuff. They would uh, just wait till the rat starved. Yeah, not very pleasant. They would also uh, do that with ants and stuff, different bugs. Yeah, different bugs. That's probably part of it, like that too. Definitely. Snakes. Snakes. The tide at the beach. Yep. That was in, uh, wasn't that like a freak show or a creep show? I think it was creep show. One of them. That's what that was. They did. The tide kept was coming up. What are you doing? 
setting up your seahorse. You're such an awesome husband. Like, I truly appreciate you. My boo setting me up for my seahorse so that I can do some dabs. You're wonderful. See how she treats me, folks. Unfucking believable. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> 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 this, is, this, this shit is unreal. All right, let me get a picture and shit, cause like this next one, I don't, I don't know. This one's weird. <laughs> this one's weird. Looks like zombies. Let's call it escapism. It is death by being eaten alive, literally. Oh, cool! Look at that. The victim was placed in a hollow tree, trunk, or boat, or force-fed a mixture of milk and honey until he developed diarrhea. After that, he was unclothed, covered in more milk and honey. He was then left to sit in his own waist as insects came to feast on him. Death usually came from dehydration, septic shock, or gangrene. A lot of that. Wasn't that a... a yeah, take your time, heavy tea. The bathroom's a lot smaller here, so. <laughs> wow. At pot, at pot of coffee. Yeah, well, the club, <laughs> DJ Bruce Club, that bathroom's insane. They got marble floors. They got champagne in there. They got bud. They got everything. There's a head shop in the bathroom and a dispensary plus a Taco Bell. DJ Bruce Club, crazy. Scafism. So, uh, wasn't that a, a big voodoo thing? I don't know, and I didn't. My, none of my research came up as like specificalities as part of that, but it does say that it originated in Persia. All right, so DJ Bruce gonna say they do that shit a lot in like Louisiana in the swamp. But yeah. that's like, like so you sh like. Uh, that's gross. Well, they only want you to shit yourself, and then they want you to shit yourself. They only want you to do that because that's what attracts the bugs. Not just your dead body, like, rotting away. Well, you're not dead. You're still alive. I mean... The bugs come and start eating your shit, and then they start eating you. And you can't move or nothing, because you're all fucked up on voodoo and shit. I thought that's what the milk and honey was for. What, to fuck you up? No, to attract the insects. Yeah, but that, plus the poop. So once they they come for the poop because of the smell, and then they see there's honey and stuff, so they eat that, but that's all on your skin, so they end up eating you. Bugs are so weird, like, poop or honey, what would you rather... Well, they go for the honey first, but the poop attracted them first. Imagine a dung beetle like crawling up your face and you can't move because you're on like some voodoo paralysis. Oh, and then it's like crawls in your eye. People are fucked up. Don't fuck with voodoo, yo. Like even this next one. Hold on. It's completely fucked. Yeah, don't mess with voodoo. You get dung beetle in your eye. I don't even know if that's... It's like, it said Persia. I'm going to put a disclaimer in there and say it said it originated in Persia. And then DJ Bruce. <laughs> DJ Bruce school school to school, yo. <laughs> nah, I said dumb shit. It's cool. Moving flies and honey, but six attract... Yup, that's pretty much right, Sleepy J. Shit attracts them faster than honey. I don't know. The Damn. saw torture. Ouch. Right in the booty. They always stick it in the booty. Like, ouch. So, this is from all over various parts of the ancient world. So, there is no way to um, track down exactly where this one came from. Um, but everyone from the Persians to Imperial Chinese, they practice some form of this by sawing. Often the victim was hung upside down, there, thereby, you know, they also increased blood flow, flow to the head, and a large saw was placed between their legs. The executioners would slowly cut the person's body in half. And slow. Drawing out the process in order to make death as painful as possible. So I guess, like, this is, like, a death sentence, irregardless. But they were just fucking with you. Like, how low can you go with like each like little yep. saw? Oh, making you suffer. 
I mean, you would have to have done something pretty gnarly to deserve that. Probably looked at the queen wrong or something. <laughs> he has seen the queen's ankle. He's seen the queen's ankle. No, arrest him now. <laughs> <laughs> Saw him by the buttocks. <laughs> Shit like know. that, you know? That's fucked up, man. They were vicious, though. They really were. You know, that's how vicious they are in the Twitch streets. The main streets of Twitch. Twitch be gotten torture and like this. This is cool. This e- is cool. Egyptians are badass. Can well, I tell an Egyptian story? I don't. Yeah, I just sure. learned about Egypt. Go ahead. So I was at my dispensary on uh, Friday. And I was standing in line waiting for my order. And they have like all these cool like learning stations and shit, right? Yeah. So I'm like watching the TV and it was saying that back in ancient Egypt times, mm-hmm. they would like get so high off. Like they used to make edibles and all types of shit back in Egypt. So they would get so high, they would think they were cursed. So you go to like a witch doctor type person. So there was like no plague of locusts. <laughs> they were just tripping balls. No, it had nothing to do with that. But like they would get so high, they would think you're cursed. So you go to this witch doctor thing and they would give you lemons and black pepper. And it's like known through history to give you lemons and black pepper if you get too high. I knew so about the black pepper. It was a cure for being too high back in Egypt times. So nowadays, like there's some scientists in like California or whatever that studied it. And it's like the terpenes in lemon and the terpenes in cannabis are both part of the citrus family. But they're kind of like magnets like that. Not when they stick together, but when they separate from each other. Like if you have one turned backwards where they won't stick, they like push apart. So if you ingest a lemon, the terpenes in a lemon react with the terpenes from the cannabis and it makes you not high. That's cool. Yeah. So yeah, the Egyptians uh, came up with that. Yeah. You ever get too high, grab a lemon and some pepper. Black Black pepper. pepper. Black pepper. And it can't be like fake lemon. It has to be the real deal because it's, it's, no, a, lemon, not it's lemon a terpene juice. thing. Yeah. Like real slice of lemon up and like just chewing that shit like it was a mouth guard. Like lick a lemon and shit. Lemon pepper wings. There you go. <laughs> uh, yeah. So this is called Iron Maiden. It's not just a heavy metal band. It is a torture device. And it is truly the stuff of nightmares. Uh, mm. It was in an enclosed structure lined with spikes that would entirely surround the person and they would be left inside for an in- interminable amount of time, unable to do anything but stand. And if they moved, they would be pierced. And uh, once the legs started to tire out, you were f- like, you, it, it didn't inc- like it's. When you, unless you were like fat, obviously, they but were if you enclosed you, if it enclosed you, you weren't pierced. You just couldn't move. But the second that you did, or like they said, your, your legs tired out, you're fucked. See, I thought some of them though, like they were strategically placed. So when they did close it, you did get pierced, but it didn't hit like your vitals. Mm-hmm. There could be different forms of it. And then, like you said, when you get tired and you fall, it just rips you apart. Okay. I'm so excited. I love using this seahorse. If you guys have ever get a chance to get a Luca seahorse, I highly recommend it. Yeah, I was using that. That was the uh, the little dab pen thing I was using last night on my my DJ show. And it's like a cross between a nectar collector and a puff cup. And it doesn't seem like it, but like you get such a great hit out of it. It like it's fucking fantastic. It's, I love it. Like I at first we didn't know what we were doing. Like it really sucks with. Uh, you really need like batter or wax. Like it's really not too good with sugars and shit like that. But if you get some good batter, works fantastic. It's just like amazing. <coughs> this is called the Spanish donkey. Yeehaw, baby. <coughs> um. See, and even this one, it's like, you can't see in the picture, but like she's got the ankles. They All put, you fetish freaks don't get any ideas. This looks extremely painful. They put weights on the ankles. <laughs> yeah. So it pulls you down. There's always like a constant like heavy pressure and the weights weren't light. It ain't like they threw on like five pounders. Yeah. Well, this is like the female version of the Judas Cradle and it's called the Spanish Donkey. They use them for dudes too. 
and well this was mainly for women um the spanish donkey is a triangular board that a person is forced to straddle on putting their full weight right on the crotch weights are then added to their feet until it splits them right up the middle and uh I just wrote, like, it really makes you wonder what the medieval fascination with vagina torture was. <laughs> I mean, like, <laughs> come on. <laughs> Heavy T said this looks fun, but it's probably terrible. <laughs> For real, though, right? Like, that's what I say. Like, well, like, I get fetishes, but, you know, let's tr let's not try this one. This does not look fun in any sort of form. So this is not, now don't confuse this with the French tickler, uh, gentlemen. This is called the Spanish tickler. Uh, and this is just, you know, uh, it is a set of claws that is meant to dig into the skin and penetrate down to the bone. It is then yanked away, pulling flesh and muscle with it in great chunks. Obviously, medieval torture methods did not have to be overly elaborate to be effective. So it's the, the bear claw, really? Kind of like making like pulled pork. Yeah. <laughs> it's like the barbecue claw for the... Ooh, I like this one, guys. Yeah, so um, this is the iron chair. And uh, it's just, you know, exactly that. Um, it pierced a person's body at every point of contact. These points would go deep enough into break the skin, but not far enough to damage any vital organs or major arteries. The person wouldn't even bleed very much since the chair would plug the wounds until the victim was then removed and then they would bleed out. Yikes. So you were like, impaled on these yep. and like that was the only thing keeping you alive yep when i pulled them out it's like kind of like sometimes you get a flat tire there's like a nail in your tire but it doesn't go flat until you pull out the nail wow so it's like i'm gonna let the air out you <laughs> what like and then like you're just stuck there you're just stuck like oh and you can't move and then you know the second you move it's over so do you sit there and like endure the pain until you eventually pass out and die? No. Or are you just like, get me up now. I'm just going to die. You probably get up now and try your best to survive. Hold yourself like from leaking. Oh, fuck. Trying to push your like guts back in and shit. Fuck. Yeah, this is the collar. Sleepy J says this was in Sleepy Hollow as well. This is um one of the more cruel and unusual punishment examples. Uh, it was meant to hold the neck in a single position, and it was tightened just to be enough to be uncomfortable. The real torture came after days without being able to lay down, rest your head, eat, swallow anything. So you had like drool just coming out. Yeah, you couldn't do it. Every time you move, you're <clears throat> fucked. Wow. What is wrong with people? And it's welded to I that. just can't get over this. Like I It's welded to a table, so you're like sitting there hunched over. Can't move. Can't back nothing. It is some sick shit, heavy tea. It really is. Like it really is. Like, you, like I don't know, like it really makes you wanna just do better. Do better, people. Be nice to people. Be nice to each other. We do that. Love each other. We do that now. It's called civilization. <laughs> Love each other. No, even now, like even now, like society's fucked. Yeah, people are pretty rough. No, I wouldn't say society's fucked. There's a lot of good, good of us. There needs to be more. Yeah. Well, I think there's more good than bad. Yeah. So we're winning so far. We're not in anything doing. This is called the tub. And um, it's a jacuzzi. It's a nine thousand model. It's got <laughs> three jets. Uh, it's a single person. <laughs> so some simple biology was the greatest enemy to this. The victims of the tub. A person was bound hand and foot so they could not escape. Then their face was smeared with honey. Flies and other biting insects would be drawn to the person where they would eat the honey and crawl into the openings of the face 
prisoners tortured in this way were force-fed food and water to keep them alive. As time went on, the person would be left in their own bodily wastes where maggots would be would where maggots would be laid that would eat the person's body as it decayed even though they were still alive. This is really gross. It, like I I like I'm forcing back like not throwing up. Um, it was a very slow death, and it was one of the worst torture methods. Well, you're getting eaten alive by bugs again. <laughs> but you're, it's not even that, but like you're also being forced to stay alive. Like yeah. they're feeding you to stay alive and giving you water. Well, that was the thing alive. with a lot of these torture things. They didn't want you to die right away. They wanted you to suffer for as long as possible. That's what I was saying. They were also like, oh, why'd fucking so-and-so die in three days? We wanted to do this shit for a week. So they were trying to also figure out ways to keep them alive longer. Just because it would fit the punishment. My grandfather was a POW, right, in World War II. And he was tortured. But, like, I love you, Grandpa. And, like, if you're listening, like, I really love you. Like, he's in heaven now. But anyways. <laughs> but he had the, the the wooden sticks under the nail. And this, like, that was nothing compared to what this stuff is. Like, holy fuck. This shit is fucked. This shit is fucked. This shit is fucked. I can't say that enough. This shit is fucked. Uh. Uh, what you're looking at right here is actually called a coffin. And um, it was, you, you, it's just pretty simple. You put the person in there and you would hold them up. It uh, saw birds peck away at victims and passerbyers could beat them or throw things at them as they saw fit. <laughs> It was just a humility type of torture, I guess. Yeah, yeah. They hung you out in the middle of town. People threw, like, cabbage and shit. But see, that's where I'm getting at. Like, was it entertainment? Are you not entertained? Yeah, but, like, eagles are swooping down, like, pecking at their eyes and shit. And people are throwing tomatoes at them. And then I think, like, you're all poor and you're throwing tomatoes and lettuce at them. Like, y'all need to eat this shit. <laughs> This is another one that was uh, we should get a, headboard a form like of that. public uh, shame. We should get a headboard like that. <laughs> <laughs> really? I just, yeah, really, actually, if you think about it. <laughs> if you think about it. <laughs> Start thinking about it? Yeah, probably. It really. makes sense to have a headboard that looks like that. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah this is called the pillory. <laughs> um, and there is a bunch of variations of this one, and it's, you know, like the stocks is another one. Uh, a person is put into the woman frame that binds their head and hands. They are then left to the mercy of anyone who wants to abuse them. <laughs> um, yeah, please. Uh, it often included everyone in town who wasn't working along with the coffin that is, you know, raised above there. You usually have the coffin person hanging there and then this person in the pillory. And um, it's because they were to be embarrassed because they've done something wrong. Like, I think I watched an episode of Salem where the guy was put into it and a big uh, F was burned into his um, forehead because he was a fornicator. It was like morality police. I mean, that's kind of they were shaming you into being good. And uh yeah. As fucked as it is, you love this one, Heavy T says. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I don't necessarily think shaming people is ever effective. I mean, like, look at your own kids. Like, never shame them. Explain to them, you know, the who, the what, the when, the where, the why, the how. But never shame them. Yeah, who, the, what, the, when, the, how, the, What'd you say, burgers? Who, the, what, when, the, how, the, where? How? Thank you for getting me a coke, hun. Yeah, I'm cool like that. I appreciate yo. it. Ooh, we're gonna see naked people, bro. Ooh, I see a butt. Let's drop Pado. Brooker's gonna lose her affiliate because she showed a butt on her Twitch channel. <laughs> this is painting, so it's allowed. It's art. It's different. Um, the strapado. It was a simple cord, and it would be tied around the victim's wrists behind their back. They would then be dropped yanking severely on the sockets of the shoulders um the forward leaning of the body and dislocated shoulders restricted breathing for additional discomfort now 
you weren't dead from this, um, but you were hung like from really, too. really hurt. Huh? I also hung away from one of your feet. Yes. Yes. So this is kind of reserved for, um, what are the word called? Um, when you have an affair. What adulterers. The adulterers. There you go. Adultery. You Sorry. do adultery, you get the fucking weed, shoulder weed crank. Brain. You get the shoulder crank, yo. Like, what in the world? Yeah, these are called crocodile shears. And they'll give you crocodile tears. <laughs> well, I'm gonna take. I'm gonna just take a quick hit off of the seahorse. But uh, yeah, they're a simple set of pincers. The shears would be pincers. Yeah, they would be heated up red hot and then used to pull apart a person. Um, a person. <laughs> yeah, we're lying. It was. It's just yeah. Just like let me let me heat these up and pull off your head. <laughs> Pull up but like head. no, like like your muscles and stuff, like tearing apart your skin. Yeah, I know what you meant. That's pretty <laughs> wicked, though, yo. <y'all. laughs> this one too is really fucked because I don't know if anybody knows this. I went to Catholic school. We had shit that looked like this. That the priest would just like flick holy water on you and shit. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it could have easily been a torture device. <laughs> It's just no joke. <laughs> the power of Christ compels you. <laughs> yeah, that looks like they stick it probably somewhere. They stick everything else there. Yeah, I don't know, but it was a small ball on a handle. It was like, a, it was really nasty. Um, Sorry, I'm still holding in this hit. <clears throat> You call me a sheik. How are you? You're just in time for some cool torture devices. Yeah, we're like sticking all this stuff up butts. <laughs> this one you don't stick up a butt though. Oh yeah. Uh, it would be filled with molten lead or boiling oil. Oh shit. And then used to dribble the searing liquid onto a person's body. Oh, uh, like candle wax. Like candle wax, but you know. Hotter. Hotter. <laughs> <laughs> Look at us in st- now in stereo, yo, pot of coffee podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking stupid. Usually, this torture ended whenever the torturer felt like pouring the silver into the victim's eyes and mouth, killing them. That's oh, how it ended. Oh, shit. They poured, like, hot melting me- metal in your mouth. Yeah. A medieval bop it. That's what's up. Like no, like like I don't like I don't know if any of anybody else was Catholic, but like they, like during like mass and shit, like the priest would like you know fling holy water over everybody, and it would like look something similar to that. Wow, the priest is. And it wa- was like no, it was like a, like a wand, and it was like flick, flick, flick. Priest is walking around jizzing on everybody. And it had that end to it, but it was holy water and oils that came out of it. He probably put his. Semen in there. It's probably his pee pee. He probably pisses in it and then goes to mass and is like, <laughs> <laughs> "Fuck you, parishioners." <laughs> he goes through the ca- crowd, sprinkling on people that don't put enough money in the basket. He's like, "I know you didn't give your ten percent. Have some piss. Have some piss. <laughs> Have some piss, and you'll like it." Yeah. Speaking of Christianity, we got the crucifix. Have some piss. Have some piss on the crucifix. Remember when um, Cartman was on the cross? Yes. <laughs> that shit was funny. <laughs> I saw this at Olive Garden. They had a crucifix at Olive Garden? No, the fucking piss flicker. Oh, the piss flicker. <laughs> what do they have in it? I'm curious. <laughs> what would Olive Garden have in a... Parmesan, he said. Parmesan? Yeah, he's making a joke. It's funny. Like shake, 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 shake. Yeah, like his Parmesan shaker. Um. Yeah. So we know this from our stories of Jesus on the cross. Um. It was once a brutal form of absolute humiliating death. The victim was nailed to a cross or pole often in public, and left to hang bleeding from their wounds until sepsis, starvation, or exposure set in. 
death sometimes took over a week to arrive. Scarcely enough, crucifixion is still used today by ISIS and in places like Burma and Saudi Arabia. Really? Yep, it's the most famous Roman forms of execution. And, um, yeah. It was really, actually, like, a lot more gnarly than we think, and I was fucked up. <laughs> that is. And that it still uses even more fucked up. What's this one? Brodican? Brodican, but that's not it. That's the, uh... Still crucifixion. That's still crucifixion. All right, that's what I thought, but... <laughs> there was two pictures, I'm sorry. I forgot to tell you. It's okay. I thought that's what was going on, but, you know, DJ British shit. Yeah, this one was fucked up, man. <clears throat> Brought so, again. So they turn you into concrete? So, no, this was just a concrete, <laughs> like, depiction of it. Um, smashing and mashing seem to be in vogue during medieval times, and the Brodican is evidence of that. A set of boards would be fitted around a person's legs, and then wedges would be hammered into the gaps often causing bones to literally burst through sheer pressure. Ooh. Definitely more creative than death by sawing, but a lot less sa savory. Yeah. Um, yeah. Ouch. I never heard of that one. That's a cool one. Like, just pressure. Yeah. The pressure would, would make your bones burst out. I mean, that's just crazy. I am not sticking my wiener near that thing. <laughs> well, <laughs> <laughs> it's called the shrew's fiddle. And it is an example of a pillory type device. It was mostly used for women who men deemed worthy of punishment for whatever their reason was. They would be bound in this crazy contraption, which prevented the woman from feeding herself. It also left her defensiveless against whatever cruelty passerbys might feel like dishing out. So you put what parts? I'm not getting this thing. I don't know. The, the, honestly, like, cause I, I I'm not getting. I didn't it. ask that. Myself. I don't know. I mean, what do you what do you do with this? Um, they would be bound. Why didn't I write that? All right, so this is a mystery. Oh, but, head and hands. Head and hands, like head that? and hands. Like head and your hands next to you. Yep, and then you couldn't feed yourself. Oh, that's crazy. Oh, I see. I see. I see. I see. That's a wicked one if you think about it. Just because of the uncomfortability. It's not really too wearable. Just like, for the fact that it was just like men to use in their wives because they just felt like it. <laughs> like, I, fuck you. I got trained my bitch. Look at Lorena Bobbitt on your ass. That's what that, now the women invented <laughs> that prevented this. that. <laughs> the women invented this to get rid of the last one. <laughs> so I guess said, you know, that's what I thought too at first. Does that go where you think it? Yeah. Well, this is called the Tongue Terror. What? Um, it would be stuffed into the mouth, tightened down until it held the tongue firm. Burm. It was then pulled gradually away, yanking the tongue and any clinging meat that decided to ride along for the ride. And it was ripped out of the person's head. So they would pull your tongue out with this? Yep. Free Yikes. tongue piercing. <laughs> we get like the slither tongue. Do you ever see people that have the slither tongue? But like one part of their tongue goes up and one goes down and then like crisscross it. Have you ever seen a person do that? Well, it's like split like a yeah, snake. Yeah, the split tongue. Split tongue. That's crazy. <sighs> What's that? So, split tongue. Another, split tongue's cool, yo. This is called the spider. Um... Ladies, you can rub your boobs right now. Just for your boobies. Um, it's another device implement of medieval torture for women exclusively. The spider fun. 
would be heated up and shoved into the breast tissue, then pulled away, taking along much of the mammaries with it. They would rip your tits off with it. Like, legit rip your titties off. There's the titty ripper. The titty ripper. Ugh. No. What is, like, the fixation? Well, I think uh, I think the fixation is that most of them use them body parts with their significant others or whatever for pleasure. That's so, not what it's for, though. No, not for, for the device. But since you use them parts of your body for pleasure, they're removing them as a punishment. You, I you don't see, know. you see what, you, what I'm saying. That's a different way to look at it. I don't know about that. I'm, I'm being serious. I mean, you were. I don't that think the guy. Baby. The guy that was doing it, yeah, but you still use him for sex, not just you know what I mean. I guess. But the guy administering it, you, he's not like standing there being a perv getting off. I'm sure he didn't even like doing it because it was his fucking job. Well, no, but I mean, like, what would make you be like, yeah, this is a great punishment? Because they're taking away the pleasure of your body. <laughs> Why ruin a perfectly good boob? <laughs> Kyle says. <laughs> but she grew some nice boobs. Uh oh, I don't like the looks of that. It's called a melee boot. Oh, uh, I thought it was like a a penis piece. Yeah, <laughs> I did too. I thought it was. Like, <laughs> I thought it was like one of the flashlights, but a back in the day one. So it's got to be made out of like iron. Yeah, it's um. There's a bunch of variations of this boot as well. Um, and it caused severe trauma to the lower extremities. Most often, the boot would be a pressure device made of wood or metal, which could be tightened to mash the meat of the leg to pull. It was often lined with spikes for extra fun, and it extra wasn't. Fun. <laughs> and it was in any case quite capable of breaking bones, like a slower brodekin. Like a slower broken. Brodekin. What's a brodekin? That's the one that um, popped okay. the bones out. So it's like a low pressure one. <laughs> low pressure Brodekin. This is like the wish version of the Brodekin. This is the wish version of the Brodekin. Like, you can't crank it down all the way, but it's just enough to like, fuck with them. Yeah. And wow. You know what they put that? It's called a Pillywink. Yeah, well, yeah. Put it on your Pillywinkle. Um, no, believe it or not, they are thumb screws torture. <laughs> they had flesh lanterns. <laughs> <laughs> they took several forms, including the head crusher, which was likely named by a four-year-old, and the knee crusher, which he also labeled. They all do the same thing. They twist the plates like a device, and they crush the thing that is in between them. These are particularly for your thumbs. Ah, <laughs> uh, you guys thought it was for your... Say, Kyle thought it was for, for your, your balls. balls. <laughs> Kyle, Kyle wants to stick his balls in there. <laughs> <laughs> Might be nice. Uh, the dunking stool. We gotta have that. Get out your of, head out of the gutter, heavy tape. We have that at a carnival now. You just gotta pay th pay, pay a dollar for doing. three balls. <laughs> Pitch the ball and hit the bullseye. Dunking tank. Oh, sorry. Hi again. I'm like dying of thirst. Slow down, Brooker. Oh, Slow man. down. I am. I'm dying. I'm like. <sighs> you can use it on walnuts. <laughs> yeah, walnuts, lobster <laughs> claws, <laughs> snow crab. It's great for snow crab. I bring one of them to Red Lobster. Is it kind of like a Chinese finger trap? No. Kind of. Not really. Maybe a little. Safer form. We're still in the dunking school. Oh. You got the head. You told me to slow down, Holmes. I don't know what's going on. I slowed down. I slowed my roll. What are you doing? I'm going to hit this pen. Yeah, quench your thirst with the dunking stool, we call me, as Sheik says. Um, so here people were suspended on a swinging arm out over a river and then dunked repeatedly into the water. Sometimes they would even be bound in a bag, which would add disorientation to this waterboarding type of exercise. Yeah. They did that a lot, I think, with like <coughs> the witch trials and stuff, didn't they? 
That's kind of like the pirate ship one. <laughs> yeah. What was that? <coughs> Kneeling. Knee. Kneel. Keel. <coughs> keel. Keel heading. Yeah. Keel something. Hoarding. Hounding. It's when it ties you in a boat and drag you. <laughs> it ties you in a boat and then give you skis. They should dunk people in Gatorade for the electrolytes equality, as she says. Yo, I heard Gatorade's like bad for you to drink. Like, if you're an average person who's like not like an athlete, <coughs> you should not be drinking Gatorade. Electrolytes is a trick, yo. <laughs> well, you still have to get salt back into your body. It's not a trick. But like, eat a bag of. Eat, like, potato chip one potato chip or just put a little salt on whatever you're making the government wants you to think you need electrolytes you don't need <laughs> electrolytes electrolytes ain't nothing but the new fluoride electrolytes are the devil <laughs> they're the devil Bobby right, we're <laughs> moving <video>. on <laughs> Done with that outburst. <laughs> Burgers is broke. I am. I love this seahorse. It's so amazing. I'm gonna take another hit, actually. But this is this one right here is called the breaking wheel. That is really fucked up. How'd you break though? Cause they spun you so fast. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna just let me let, just let me get my hit. Let me get my hit, bro. Mm -hmm. <coughs> so I like <coughs> really good gummy bears. <coughs> I'm glad you like them. <coughs> yeah, they're like uh, <coughs> the world's best. That's what they say. That's what it said. That's why I got him, and that's why I was really hoping that you would like him. Well-rounded punishment, yeah? Very well-rounded. So, this one, uh, people would be tied in awkward poses and then have their limbs smashed with iron or wooden mallets. Oh, as you're spinning it. Would no, crack I don't it. think the wheel actually spun. It was like stuck there, and then they put you in like a weird pose, and then they beat you. <clears throat> yeah, but with what the mallets? What the fuck would you have a wheel that don't spin? That's silly. I don't know. Maybe they I think it spun, it hill. and they were just like taking shots. Could be. I think that's how it worked. Could be. Are you eating? No, this ain't AMSR. <laughs> Asmar. <laughs> Asmar. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't look amused. He looks like, oh, this ride kind of sucks. I would. Be <laughs> this ride sucks. Like, I waited in line for 30 minutes for this shit. <laughs> this I is had bullshit. Fast pass. They didn't even spin me. They call this a wheel. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even spin. Not even dizzy. <laughs> it's not a small world after all. <laughs> They said this shit was going to be sick. This new new great adventure ride sucks. <laughs> I'm not going to give Brookers no more dabs, guys. <laughs> I love the dabs. She's losing it, yo. I almost died on my show last night. Nah, I wouldn't let that happen. We I had a hype CPR. train. We had a hype train and Brookers is like... <laughs> don't don't fucking rip, gotta do it the whole time don't rip your shirt off today just do dabs for just the whole dabs. entire hype the train the whole hype train I had to hit that thing like eight times nine times maybe even more I don't even know it's not my fault you can't handle it I almost had to take a knee yeah who does like nine dabs in a row me no wanna watch no <laughs> I was smoking all this shit this is called the scavenger's daughter. I don't know even where they came up with some of these names. Because obviously the first person in it was the scavenger's daughter. Yeah, I don't, well, I mean, it's the inventor's name was Skevington, which 
could have something to do with it, but that's the closest thing I could find. Um, it was you. Hello, Skevington. <laughs> that's a cool last name, though. Like my name is Bruce Skevington. Skevington. Maybe I'm gonna change my name this week, then, guys. Be Bruce like, Skevington. Bruce Skevington, and then everybody be like, <laughs> <laughs> it'd just be cool going through all the chats. Like Mr. Skevington, welcome to Mr. the stream. Mr. Skevington, I presume. How are you on this fine Saturday? Right, basically, in this kind of the the picture kind of illustrates it. You wrap the person <coughs> into a like crouched position, and then you crush them into a tiny ball. And the glory days of this were during the reign of Henry VIII. Oh, it squeezes you down. Yeah. Oh, it's a squeezer. It's a squisher. A squisher. That's. I don't know. That's fucked up too. I'll be breaking your back like first. Slowly, like break. That's what I'm saying. Like you would like be like slowly breaking every bone. Like, well, no, I mean, you know what I mean. Like, like from where you're being squished. So it'd be like that part of your back, and then your ribs, and then your. You know what I mean? It's like then your legs. That's just. So this is the Garrett or Garrot. It's a choker. Um, it was basically a strangulation device. Um, the only real difference between a medieval one and a simple rope or wire with handles that could be wrapped around a victim's head to strangle them. And uh, that's the fact that the victim could be seated in this mechanism and perform the strangul to perform the strangulation it was more sophisticated so you would like turn it with a crank well this way it's for comfort it's um, like the cadillac of fucking chokers yeah but you couldn't move you couldn't do anything you were like completely strapped to that chair um it refers to the wire or the rope that you could use that's the, where the name kind of comes from and uh yeah this is just really fucked up. <laughs> like, really, really fucked up. This is like, uh, yeah. I mean, it just, it was. It really, really was. So I hope you guys were all paying attention because I did have a quiz. I won't participate in the quiz, though. Fucking rainmaker. <laughs> I can't handle life right now, yo. She said the fucking rainmaker. <laughs> wow. Brokers. Y'all rock. <laughs> I thought the crying Judas was funny. <laughs> we got cartoon torture. <laughs> it's like you've crossed the line. Now we're going to hang you. You're the sheriff and shit. <laughs> Sheriff in town. There's a new sheriff in town. <laughs> Fucking hopper. The hopper. Oh, show no mercy. They're crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Last question. Uh -oh. So this was basically a strangulation device. My dick. My dick. <laughs> we'll find out, you know, who did good and who, who didn't pay attention. <laughs> Does it give you like a tally? At the end, but you have to sign in like, to get your name, so. <laughs> uh, I signed in. And I'm registered, yo. I hope y'all registered. Be cool if you did. The catapult? <laughs> Who voted on the catapult? Who's being silly? <laughs> we got a silly guy in the crowd. Final results. Here we go. Here we go. Good job, Bruce. You got first. Contestant yeah, number Bruce. four, you got second. And contestant number three, you got third. 
Good job. Nice. Give yourselves a pat on the back. <laughs> that was a laugh. <laughs> they laughed and went, because they're going crazy. Yeah, and for the record, though, <laughs> folks, like, Brokers writes this whole script. So I don't know, in case y'all didn't know. And I never see it. I only know the title and the topic. So I have no clue what she's talking about. And all like, even the pictures that she sent me tonight. That's why like some of them are small until I figure out how to blow the shit up. I don't even know what she's going to send me or nothing. So this way I get like that surprise effect. Surprise. So surprise, that's why I'm allowed to. Do, that's why I'm allowed to do the crit quiz and she's not. Because like, I, I truly don't know the answers, but like. I have torture knowledge. I will and say shit. you're pretty knowledgeable about torture devices, though. Yeah, I read it's, a lot about yeah. this stuff, and uh, I don't know. It always kind of interested me. See, like this is that milk and honey shit. Mm-hmm. I mean, we got court, cartoon, 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 cartoon torture. But yeah, that was fun. Look right? at them all stinking from the poop. <laughs> that was fun, though. What? Torture? This, the torture. So, Brookers is down at torture. She said, this I think is we fun. all, well, no, we all have pretty strong stomachs, or, you know, just a. My man just floating on the river the all macaw. dead. Um, humanity can be pretty ugly, and we're not exactly above making life hell for others, even today. Still, it's comforting to think that we've collectively moved past some of these gleeful implements of pain and death. Death. And uh, that's all I got. So if you want to still hang and smoke with us for a little bit, we're cool with that. But other than that, see you all next time on Pot of Coffee Podcast. Yeah, we could do a dab and then be out. Yeah. That was the end. <laughs> that was the, the end. end. All right, y'all. It's over now. But yeah, um, we usually sit back and chill and smoke a little bit. So you're more than welcome to do that. Or we can raid into other people. And just chill and hang. Not torture is hang, just hang. Who you got to raid to? Who do I got to raid to? I know. I wish I could pick the raids on this channel. DJ Bruce got them cool ass raids, yo. Shit. I try to do like... I don't really do like music raids anymore. I kind of try to do 420 raids. Mm Mm-hmm. Like, I try to stay away from, like, it don't matter if you're a gamer or music or anything or just chatting or whatever uh, genre you're streaming in, but you do got to smoke mad weed. Like, that's kind of like a requirement now for me. But even though some of them ain't your cup of tea or whatever... But it's also kind of got to be like a streamer that I know, like I can trust, like that I could send all you guys over, like a good, like my normal people, like Heavy T, Top Cat, all them, send them over and uh, they'll be treated right. That's just what's important the most to me. Yeah. You know, not like I'm going to send them over to some shithead streamer cursing at the chat and all that other mess. So I always try to like at least watch the person once or twice before I send you. Uh, I don't have that many people on. I do. Just look at my list up there. I know. I'm looking at your list. I'll give you someone if you want. But you got your own people. Like, this broker's channel, really. I'm well, just... I got the Schmidt show. I'm I thinking about the Schmidt show. Schmidt show's a great guy. He hangs out on my show a lot. He's yeah. a really nice guy. He's been hanging out on the kids' show, too. Yeah, I think I'm just going to go to the Schmidt Show. It's been extremely nice, dude. But yeah, so we'll go to the Schmidt Show in a couple minutes. We'll, uh, I want to do another seahorse dab. And uh, I hope y'all can tell me about your day. This is the end of um, our Halloween-themed <coughs> shows. Um, <coughs> so... We got November. <laughs> um, I almost passed out again, yo. Yeah, he's cool. He's cool. <coughs> Thanks. Thanks, Kyle. Glad you enjoyed the podcast tonight. Yeah, I gotta think of something for um next week, not really horror related. <coughs> yeah, we're done with horror. We're going back to cool shit, but it's Thanksgiving season. But uh So it's gonna be all turkeys. It's gonna be turkey talk. 
gobble gobble. No, I don't know what the fuck we're gonna talk about. I don't about. know either. So if you have any ideas, shoot them out. But I want to stay away from like macabre stuff. Yeah, we're gonna be done with. Bit. We're gonna be done with the horror. <laughs> UFO sighting. Did we just? We did. Do- we did. Well, we didn't do. We did abductions. Yeah. Um, Thank you, Sleepy J. So glad you uh, enjoyed the podcast. What do you guys think of like if I played like clips and whether they're like funny clips or like something happens to somebody or just like sh- like little like thirty second clips and then like we pause like fail army type could be stuff like that or like. Maybe really cool like stuff like people do really cool things or whatever. But like, like we cool played a tricks. clip and then we pause it and then we go over it like how they fucked up or I mean, I don't know. It's hard to like think of ideas to entertain people. You know what I mean? And then like we'd be like dumb fucks or like people that like rob places or let's do a bunch of weed shows. Let's talk about weed. Fake Baker says maybe something about like theories about life after that. That could be a good one. Man, maybe you... in a little bit. Let's like still get away from that type of stuff for right now. Yeah, paranoid. But that's definitely a good show idea because that stuff interests me a lot. Yeah, we always come swinging through paranormals and stuff like that. Aliens, space, uh, under the sea. That's like where the water is. Um, I don't know. I guess we'll just keep checking on black holes. <laughs> Weed history or strains and types. I wouldn't do strains and types because I've been noticing too like a lot. There's like, a crazy amount of strains. Each, uh, each state kind of has their own strains too. And each Country. farm has their own strains. You, you know what I mean? So there's somebody out there. <clears throat> so even if I was to go like do a bunch of information, um, yeah, the history would be good. That's a good idea. Yeah. Or especially like maybe some like cancer stuff, like some Rick Simpson shit. Because that's, I think, good information for people to know. If we can get the right information, but then that would kind of lose a little bit of the comedy aspect. Because then if you get like two series of serious of a topic you can't really make uh jokes time travel would be cool that's a good one like back to the future like yeah that is a good one time travel yeah <clears throat> like some quantum leap shit heavy tea you're a good folk too man we love y'all i love you hanging out on a dj show and shit y'all like the chat hype man you really are y'all are great you're a blessing so glad y'all we met y'all so glad we met all of y'all like me and kyle we friends in real life now me and top cat known each other for years cpj and Haley, we know for a minute now it's Uh, great it's great getting to know everybody yeah and it's not just like you know stream bullshit like you go into some streams and it's like the people don't care about their chat and you know it and shit and it's just like whatever i don't want to be here blah 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 but i like it where like i know all y'all and it's just cool. Like, you know, all you motherfuckers. Well, you got to make that relationship. You know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Actually give a fuck. You know, that that's, that goes, like, giving a fuck a little bit goes such a long way sometimes. Well, I was, I was telling Bruce the other day, you know, the, the one thing that he's got that, like, any person like Emily Lenz, like, you know, like the bigger, you know, DJs or Carl Cox or all of them have, like, they're playing all these crazy arenas, right? But when they're sitting there and they're hyping everybody up, they're going, come on, crowd, let's go, crowd. But with Bruce, it's let's go Haley, let's go Topcat, let's go Kyle. You're, you're, you know what I mean? We know you guys. Yeah. And that it makes it that much better. We even like even with the Discord and all that. I know what y'all eat for, you know, dinner or whatever, and we share pictures and all that other good stuff, Twitters and socials. So you're pretty much up to date all day long on what everybody's doing, smoking on, chilling, what your day's like. So you always have that connection. Yeah. Which is cool. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. One hundred. She said, "What? Kill brokers." 
<laughs> what? <coughs> I'm cool. Leave me alone. <laughs> oh my god, if you guys are <clears throat> The what? My chat moved up. The history of time, time travel. travel. Okay, I'll check it out. Yeah, that's it. I don't really hang out with anybody, but you guys really, myself. Other than that, I work. I hang out with Amish children. <laughs> <laughs> You're pilgrims. Yeah, pilgrims. Little pilgrims. <coughs> Most of them don't even speak English, so. <coughs> Kind of just hang out with my headphones and have like weird people sitting around me as I drive them around. Yeah, Amish people are funny. But other than that, y'all are like the only real people I talk to that ain't Amish. Because I, like, I'm not Amish though. <laughs> Mind blown, actually. Yo, they're crazy people, man. They still on the horse and buggies, they still doing the old school laws. No shoes. Uh, hopefully your dad's doing well. You call me a sheik. I know y'all went, so went for that visit and they were doing that surgery or whatever, <laughs> if I remember correctly. So hopefully things are going great. Sending lots of healing vibes. <coughs> Definitely. But yeah, I still got horse and buggies. Like tonight's Sunday too, so like they're all going past the house. You hear all the horses like clanging on the street and shit. And then tomorrow morning, all all the kids will be getting in my vans, going to school. But yeah, all right, folks. I think we're gonna raid it out. We're gonna raid it out. Thanks for stopping in. Um, There's I'm a documentary on black holes. On the universe on Netflix. Okay, cool. Okay. Um, hopefully everybody enjoyed themselves, and uh, you'll definitely have. Uh, by tomorrow, I'm hoping that we'll definitely have a title for next week. Yeah, normally we put out all the schedules on Monday. We'll have the DJ schedule on Monday. And then tomorrow, um, I'll give a little bit of a spoiler because it's tomorrow. But tomorrow, I'm going to drop two new things on the site. But uh, it's definitely for uh, experienced dabbers. So if you're into like bangers and... Uh, Fortune, definitely keep an eye on djbruce.com tomorrow. Probably sometime, uh, probably late mid afternoon. I got two special things, so and I use them personally myself. But uh, yeah, I got some hot shit coming. But I'll drop it on all the socials and shit. Yeah, so yeah, absolutely. definitely if you're a dabber, I got something special Check for you. <coughs> Other than that, and you call me a sheik says he is reviewing chocolate beer tomorrow. Oh, I can't watch that. But, I'd like uh, to watch that. I'm going to skip the beer one, though. I ha I used to be an alcoholic, so. Bruce is a recovering alcoholic. I kind of so like. Kinda shy away from stuff like that, unfortunately. But that doesn't mean that anybody else has to. Nope. Definitely. So definitely check him out. Yeah, let me slap, the, la slap my dude a shout out. I forgot to do that today. I did. I was keeping up with it. Did you give Sheik one? I don't remember, though. I think she came in late. He might have. There you go. If you're not follow, following, you call me Sheik. He's a good dude. Uh, he does a lot of food reviews. Uh, I have a lot of fun over there. He's a really nice guy. Tomorrow, he's doing a chocolate beer. So definitely check that out. Yeah, Top Cat. I've been 2016 Christmas, so you I guys feel you. are doing great. So proud of both of you. And that's just one of them things. Like I just kind of like it's a trigger. You know what I mean? But yeah, food reviews and all that are good. He does all that types of stuff over there. He does the cup holder. He like drives around in traffic, makes you all nervous and shit. Cause like he, he's like flying through traffic in like fucking Atlanta or somewhere crazy, like this crazy city. In the cup holder. And then like he's got his phone in the <laughs> cup holder. And uh, yeah, you're November 2016. I'm uh, December. December, Christmas. Christmas morning, I had some mimosas, and I was like, yeah, that's it. Like, this is just stupid. But, uh, so, yeah, he reads the chat, and, like, 
yells at people driving. It's a lot of fun. So check out you call me asleep. Yeah, it'll make y'all nervous. You'll be sitting here on Twitch like, oh man, stop reading the chat, dude. Be careful. It's like, yo. But then he like pulls over somewhere, gets some food, talks about it. It's really cool. Like you do gotta like at least check it out once. You'll like it. Definitely like it. And then obviously anybody else that came through Greenslide Gaming. Bake Baker's a streamer now. He's streaming games. My man has like this crazy game collection. Like I was over at his house the other week. My man has like 20 fucking five, six, seven, I don't know, thousand games like from like the 70s yeah. all the way to like PlayStation 1. It's insane. We got what, Sleepy J. We got a bunch of people Yeah, in Sleepy here. J. I mean, just hit the chat list. Follow, just follow everybody. everybody. Check each other out. But we are going to go and raid into the Schmidt show. So until, well, I'll talk to everybody on Bruce's show. And if not, I will see you all on Sunday. Love, yeah. peace, and chicken grease. Have a great night, everybody. There we go. Hot damn, back to back raids. Dude, thank you guys so much. Did you drop him the- I did, power? I did. Pot of Coffee uh, Podcast, man, welcome in. Welcome everybody, damn. Thank you, Rayan. Very much, very much appreciated. So how was the, uh, how was the stream? What was the topic of the day? I mean, I'd be consistent, but you try your best. Hey, you were perfectly fine, very uh, creepy. Nope. Oh. oh, shit, I thought that was too early again. There's Murdoch. Welcome, dude. How was your stream? Did you accomplish what you wanted to? Yo, DJ Bruce. Shit. Stepped away. The Baked Baker? That's Kyle. Hey, everybody, go check out the Baked Baker, too. He just started streaming as well. Did medieval torture devices. <laughs> I, I'm kind of sad I missed that shit now. Oh, I rolled the wrong way. That was dumb. You have a good night, Krieger, man. Thank you so much. Again, as always. I hope you get a lot of rest, man. Fuck, that hurts like hell. Ah, uh, get over here. <laughs>